Bravo 8 Alpha Charlie. This is Alpha 6, November Alpha Zulu. Do you read? Over. Hello. Welcome to Mars. Not the planet but a globe-spanning communications network that you probably haven't heard much about. We're in the headquarters station of that network, right here in the concourse of the Pentagon in Washington, D.C. MARS stands for Military Affiliate Radio System. As its name says, it's a military network, but it's manned on a voluntary basis by civilian amateurs, hams as they call themselves, more than 6,000 amateur stations plus service-operated Mars stations at Army, Navy, and Air Force installations all over the world make up the network. Its purpose is to promote interest and to provide training in military communications procedures and equipment, and to provide a network of thousands of stations to serve as an emergency communications backup if conventional communication should be disrupted. Servicemen operating a military Mars station learn not only military communications procedures and methods, but they get into all phases of repair, maintenance, and modification as their time permits. This station is a central clearing point for thousands of messages each week. Many of them are personal messages from service people to their families. For in addition to its role as an emergency network, Mars serves as a massive handler of personal communications through its amateur operators, both in and out of uniform, all over the world. Also, licensed operators in the services can use the headquarters equipment in their spare time, as scheduled operations permit. Most of the communications traffic handled through here is in printed messages. But it's not unusual for a soldier in Vietnam to talk with his family here in the States by a combination of radio and telephone, known as the phone patch. This phone patching is something you have probably heard about. The volume of calls from Vietnam has skyrocketed to several hundred thousand a year through the Mars facilities. And the story of that operation is a remarkable one. This is a Mars station in Vietnam. Not too long ago, there were none. Today, there are more than 50 of them, scattered across the combat zone from the Delta to the Highlands, in the cities and in the backcountry, and recently, on hospital ships as well. Each station serves men of all services, anyone on duty in the area, whatever service arm he may belong to. To give you a feeling for how this unique and vital morale operation works, let's follow through with a typical call from the beginning. Morning, Sarge. Can I help you? Yes, I understand that uh, I can call home from here. How does one go about that? Uh, right. Here at the Mars station, we contact the United States by amateur radio, and the uh, radio amateur there in the United States contacts your party by uh, regular telephone lines to your home. He uh, charges a collect, and then we uh, hook you up to the Mars station here. Better if you ride home ahead of time, so they will be sure and be home. letter that we should be ready for his call on Thursday, the 17th. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, Mommy! Like a great many other Mars affiliates, Lenore Jensen regularly gives her evening time and the facilities of her excellent amateur rig to making it possible for American servicemen a long way from home to talk to their loved ones. A long way in this case means just about exactly halfway around the world, some 10,000 miles. Alpha Bravo 8, Alpha Charlie, Alpha Bravo 8, Alpha Charlie. This is Alpha 6, November Alpha Zulu. Do you read? Over. Roger. Lima Charlie, loud and clear. Over. 
You're good here, too. Good signal. Nice sunny morning over there. Over. Hot. Is the moon out back in the world? Over. Yes, it is. How many listings do you have waiting? Over. As many as you have time to run. Over. Okay. Read me the first three. It's typical of all the volunteer operators that they think nothing of giving of their time, their money, and themselves in this way. As they say, it's what they like to do. It's going to San Diego, California. Calling Mark person is a sergeant, Mike Webster. For Mike Webster and his family, the big moment is about to arrive. Morning, gentlemen. As you're making your calls this morning, please remember that the phone patch is not secure. Do not discuss any classified information, any troop movements, any troop strength, or any troop locations. Also, please do not mention any casualty information and do not use any profanity. Operator, I have some calls from Vietnam. Yes, that's right, all collect from this number. Right. Now, the first one is to San Diego, area 714, person to person, to Mrs. Mike Webster. Phone number seven, and the calling party is Mike Webster. Daddy, hello? Mrs. Webster, I have a collect call from Sergeant Webster. Would you accept charges? Yes, I'll accept the charges. Hello? Uh, Mrs. Webster, I'm a Mars operator near Los Angeles. Uh, we have a circuit set up so you can talk to your husband by radio. That's wonderful. Well, now, just to help you before we start, Mrs. Webster, remember, this is a one-way street. We can only talk in one direction at a time. Now, when you talk, your husband can only listen. And when you want him to talk, you say over and I'll flip the switch so he can talk back to you. All right? Oh, yes. All right. Okay, now we're just about ready. Hello, Vietnam. Alpha Bravo 8, Alpha Charlie. This is Alpha 6, November Alpha Zulu. Uh, we're ready on that call to Mrs. Webster. Over. Hello, love. This is Mike. So good to hear from you. How are you? Over. Oh, this is just wonderful. Mike, well, it's just wonderful to hear your voice. Over. It's great to hear you, too. How are the kids? Over. They're fine. They're right here by me, and they're just fine. We had Bonnie's birthday party last week. Would you believe seven years old? Over. Oh, I wish I could have been there. Can I talk to her for a moment? Over. Here she is. Hello, Daddy. This is me. Over. Say, how's my girl? Say, did you get my present? Over. I got the doll, and she's beautiful. Her name is Allison. Over. Well, that's a pretty name, too. Look, honey, I just got a couple more minutes, so let me talk to Mama. Okay. Over. Mike, Junior's here, too, dear. He'd like to just say hello. Over. Hi, Mike. How's my boy? Over. Hi, Daddy. I'm fine. Over. I'm fine. And I'll see you in about two months. It'll be before you know it, okay? Over. Okay. Bye. Over. Yeah, it won't be long now, either. Over. Thank goodness for that. Let me know as soon as you know. Over. And I'll call you next month again. Over. Wonderful. Meantime, you know you're in our prayers every night. Over. Look, love, our time's up. You give the kids a big hug for me, okay? Over. I will. And thanks to everybody who had anything to do with making this possible. It just meant so much. Over. Goodbye, love. Over. See you soon. Okay, Vietnam, that was loud and clear. Now, stand by for Mrs. John Carter in 
San Francisco. This operation is no small factor in the high level of morale among American service people in Vietnam. And United States commanders recognize this. 